First of all, let's review the numbers for Monday, February 1st. We have a total of 12,463 uh, positive cases. That's up only 115 from last week's numbers. We now have 457 active cases in the county, and that's down 139 cases from last week. Uh, we have 11,892 that have recovered. That's up 252 from last week. And there are five people that are hospitalized with COVID. That's uh, down three from last week. Our uh, death total went up by two during the last week from 112 to 114. And the total negative tests are up 491 to 43,239. The Sheboygan County COVID activity level is currently very high, but we've had a 42% decrease in our trajectory in the last month. The current burden rate is at 364 per 100,000 persons. If this trajectory continues and our burden rate goes under 350 per 1,000 persons, the Sheboygan County activity level will improve from very high to high. Currently, there are 12 registered vaccinators in the Sheboygan County area. Of those, five have received vaccine and all are able to assist with phase 1A vaccinations. The Pharmacy Partnership Program has launched in. Uh, there are nine skilled nursing homes in Sheboygan County that have started their second round of vaccinations this week. There's a limited supply from uh, the state and is currently preventing all vaccinating sites from operating at full capacity. Aurora has moved their vaccination clinic to the South Side Aurora Clinic on, and they will be open uh, six hours a day. St. Nicholas Hospital has a little over 3,000 people that have been vaccinated, and that clinic is going to be moving to the UWGV Sheboygan campus. They will have a soft opening on February 3rd and will be open starting February 4th. Uh, you can schedule appointments through myprevea.com. And Lakeshore would have the capacity to do 300 people on a Saturday clinic if the vaccine is available. The Wisconsin National Guard is still testing people uh, for COVID. Uh, last week, 76 people were tested. They're uh, only operating one day a week now. And if you're referring someone to the site, please pre-register at register.covidconnect.wi.gov. And testing is only available on Wednesdays from 9 to 5, and that'll currently schedule through March 10th.